This week, it's the Plexi Cruise by Ruli Wow. So this week we're gonna look at the Plexi Cruise from Ruli Wow, but first I wanna remind you to definitely subscribe below and make sure to click that notifications bell to get all of my latest content. The Plexi Cruise is my fourth build from Ruli Wow, and it's essentially their take on a Marshall Plexi or JTM if you wanna think about it, uh, in a pedal box. With the Plexi Cruise, you're going to get three control knobs being the volume, the gain, and the tone. And you're also gonna get a toggle switch which will allow you to add a fat boost or a bass boost. Like with any really wild build, like I've mentioned in my previous reviews, for this, all you're gonna get is the effects circuit board and you're gonna to have to populate it out with your own components. That said, this is a really easy build. They provide the documentation needed, your components list and the directions. Also, some nice things I like about it, all your potentiometers are going to solder directly to the board. Also, your switch is gonna solder directly to the board and everything fits cleanly into these nice 1590B cases. For me, the build was pretty easy. It only took about 20 to 25 minutes to populate this effects board. Uh, one thing that you have to note is this has three JFETs in here, so obviously it's emulating a Marshall amp, but it doesn't have any valves in it, so this is done with uh, JFET transistors. Um, one additional step that you have to do in your build is bias these JFET transistors, and that's all gonna be done at 4.5 volts or approximately half your supply voltage uh, using these uh, trimmer pots here. So once I built the board, I had to plug it into my power supply and then make sure these trimmer pots were set so the drain of all of my JFETs here were at about half my supply. It's supposed to be about 4.5 volts. My supply was a little bit higher, so I think I ended up being somewhere around 4.6. Looking at the schematic for the Plexi Cruise, it's pretty straightforward. Obviously there's no valves in here. Everything is replaced with JFET circuitry, which I've already mentioned. And essentially what it is, is three cascading JFET amplifiers all in the common source configuration. So what that means is you're gonna have your input on your gate and your output on your drain. Uh, this is good because it provides high input resistance, which basically maintains the fidelity of your input signal and also moderate gain. So moderate gain times three, you're gonna get enough gain to get that drive. Additionally, we have our fat switch or our bass boost here. What this is really doing is just adding a more capacitance in between the first amplifier and the second amplifier. Uh, as you add more capacitance, you're going to cut off more treble into the second stage and essentially fatten up your signal. The gain, which is dictated by your gain control knob here, uh, is really indicative of what is fed from the output of the first stage into the second stage. As you increase the gain, you're increasing more of that signal from the first stage into the second stage. And the second stage is also the common source amplifier with the most gain. So as you roll that up, obviously you're gonna get more signal into the second stage, and more signal equals more gain. Lastly, I just wanna to touch on the volume and tone knobs. Volume's pretty straightforward. We have a potentiometer between ground and the output signal, and it's gonna vary with how much you rotate this. Obviously, you increase it, you're gonna get a louder level. As you decrease it, you're gonna send it to ground and silence. Uh, the tone knob is essentially a pretty common tone as well. You know, as you increase it, you're gonna get more treble. As you decrease it, you're gonna get more bass. Really what you're doing is rolling off the uh, high frequencies because you have a resistor and a capacitor in parallel with your volume output. Um, as you increase the tone, that means you're sending more high frequencies to ground, which really means you're shorting the tone potentiometer. If you uh, decrease it, you're bringing that whole tone potentiometer in line with the capacitor in the tone circuitry, and it means less of those high frequencies are gonna make it to ground. So I think I've touched on everything I want for this one. I'm gonna plug it in and show you what the tone control and gain control can do. I uh, also want to show you what this fat boost can do as well. They say it's supposed to take it from what might be like a 112 or a 212 to a 410. So we'll see if that really does fatten up the signal. And uh, yeah, let's see what it can do.
So I hope you guys like that demo of the Plexi Cruise by Really Wow. I've called mine the Solar Plexus. Uh, if you have any questions on the build, uh, if there's anything I've missed, definitely make sure to comment below. Uh, also make sure to like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.